Moss TV Entertainment with our brand. Welcome back to Eniola Bad Moss TV and here are the trending stories for today. The insecurity in Lagos continues to be a concern for residents and of course the government. Following the lockdown which is now in its third week, Lagos residents continue to complain of being robbed at different points. Recently, a lot of areas have had residents come out to take up vigilante duties and defend their properties in line with slow response from the police. Days back, some clips surfaced on the internet with indications that the one million boys who are known to have terrorized some areas in Lagos were now in Mushin. Mushin boys were seen to be tripping out in their numbers to defend their territory. We at Enyola Badmos TV visited Mushin, Lagos to check out the situation and also talk to residents. <music> As a lot of people continue to panic, particularly as a result of the insecurity recorded in the state in recent time, a lot of stories are yet untold and no one knows what's going to happen in the next few days. What is happening here is more than COVID-19. Una, I may tell you, boys are not smiling. This, thing is, this shit is getting real. We are angry on the street. Let our government please come and help us. An angry man is an angry man. Without food, we are, we are nobody. Oh. See, those, those calling themselves family on boys. They are human beings like us. But because they are hungry, what do you expect them to do? If there's an extension to the lockdown, then you will see the angry you do. Some of the residents who share their concerns are of the opinion that the lockdown is more of a cost than a blessing. They are not about uh, coronavirus. I don't say there's no coronavirus in Nigeria here. We know we have. But they should look to the masses. They look to the masses. People are hungry. People are dying. People are crying. Arm robber everywhere. Thief. We have another guy, they call that said one million, one million, one million boys. We have another group of men called Nortanat, Nigeria. Full of people. Killing people. Area boy, broken off house. People are dying. No food. Even the money, the the whole world donated to Nigeria. They didn't give government that money. If government hold that money, call itself Buhari, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, that pastor, what they call it, uh, Osibanjo, Tunubu, the money they give to Nigeria, that money, they should know that money is not government money. They ask masses to share that money, and that money must be shared. And if they take that money, they eat government, the APC government that come to deceive us and come into progress. I'll bring people to promise they will. Garila mo njo ju mo njo ju mo njo ju mo garila mo kosa anu mio kosa anu mio number fourteen kaya di ni mungbe o kongba mio ari bija de ba fe wamato ari mato wo oja ta anta mai tuwe fulatin raja ari mato wo de be o. While a lot of people continue to share their concerns with us and of course the government, it becomes even scary to know that residents are no longer at peace with the lockdown as a result of high rates of insecurity. It is not easy for one million boys to gather together and say that they are one million. I believe they could name, they could name themselves one million boys. Because when we talk about one million boys, we are talking about revolution. We have one million boys uh, do something that's more or less a revolution. So I'm, I have been hearing it today, I'm not praying to see them. But I'm happy that uh, we saw majority of uh, boys yesterday being active to defend themselves. Mushi boys, Hululu, Bagada. In fact, the boys who passed here yesterday are up to one million. So I believe they will have challenges. If at all there is anything to go by one million boys. COVID-19. Actually, for government to say we should sit at home is for our own benefit. So that the people will contact it will not be much. But at the same time, there is no parity from the government like in every other country. 
where they put food on their doorstep, you open them and carry your food. You pay them weekly. People are donating billions upon billions upon billions. Still, the government doesn't even allow the street shop to open and see whether they can eat or not. So it's very, very disappointing. And this thing, well, I pray that God will drive away this so called coronavirus. Otherwise, this, this thing may lead to devolution. You see, not the same thing. If hungry can kill you at home, why not coronavirus? Trust our country, Nigeria. We always have our ways, ways at, at which we handle our things. Most times we take things out of proportion. You see, people are using this opportunity to defraud others, to rob, and do other things that are not, you know, everybody's actually feeling the heat of what the situation is saying. It doesn't give you the, 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 the right or the privilege to go robbing other people. You need to understand that what you're feeling, what you're facing, if it's hunger, if it is being locked down at home, every other person is facing the same fate. The rise in so, COVID-19 cases in Nigeria and the lockdown which was implemented three weeks ago. It feels like there are so many other things to be addressed in the States. While some people are concerned about hunger, others are concerned about the insecurity in the States. This led to some concerned citizens sharing their thoughts on the fact that if the lockdown is not called off anytime soon, it might lead to chaos. While some people might refuse to obey the lockdown any further because of the need to be out to make money to feed their families. Others are of the opinion that insecurity will eventually push people out of their homes. Our government don't deny us. They don't betray us from our rights. They say a pandemic. We don't stay house for getting to one month now. No food, no palliative. They will say they bring palliative, they will share among their own party members. If you not be party members, no palliative. We don't know what they want to do for this country. They lock us for house. Now hunger virus, they hurry, uh, worry us now for Nigeria. Now. People are begin to die now. No more corona now, now hunger virus. One of the shocking responses we got when we asked about the lockdown and its effect on the people would definitely be this response from a young man who suggested they would rather contract the virus than stay longer at home because of I, said, I want to see that virus, that corona. I want to hold him. I want to chop that corona. If that corona can barely food me, that same corona, I want to see that corona face to face. Corona, coronavirus. I want to hold you. I go chop her. If that phone has feed belly food me, I go chop her and they walk out for sweet. Because we don't even know where are military regime we do. I've been a democracy regime. We don't even know the regime where we do. If now Corona go feed the masses, make them spread the Corona, make them they hold their money. I have family war. Oh, they don't be full. I have family war. Nicolau Fu. Ah, Nicolau Je. Ah, hello. I have parents Dika. Oh, I'm from my brother Dika. So no, so no, so no call it back. Hello, what are you, my Jackie? As the situation continues to rise in Lagos, so many people have called on the Nigerian police to take charge of the security of the state. This had led to the commissioner of police in Lagos days back stepping out to sensitize the people in the state talking and addressing people in different areas of the state, like Oshodi. He says that the police were in charge of the situation and residents should ignore any call that the one million boys was coming to attack them. Here is a statement by the Commissioner of Police. The security of your life and property. We have been going around Lagos to so let you know that we are secure. You see the helicopter is part of our team. The helicopter you are seeing upstairs now is part of our team to go around. We started the whole team and it's a collective one, not only police. You see the military, we have the soldier, we have the navy, we have the air force, so we have the SSS. We are moving together. The SSS too, we have their own teams. 
don't like, including the civil defense, they are on other side. Be assured, the life is secured. Nobody is coming to attack you. Forget about some criminals that call themselves one million boys, one billion boys. They are criminals. They are criminals. So do your normal duty. And when it's time for you to go to your house, go back to your house and sleep. Nobody's going to attack you. And don't burn tires. When you burn tires, you are destroying the road. Where you burn tires now, you are creating fear in the minds of people. Where you burn tires now, people will come in and inhale the smoke. The smoke from the tire now causes a lot of health, a lot of health hazard to us. So don't burn tires. So if you must go out as vigilante, what you do is that inform other people in your street so that they will not feel that it's the criminals that are outside. COVID-19 issue continue to rise in Nigeria, the federal government continually reminds citizens that they are on top of the situation. In Lagos, the Lagos state government continues to encourage citizens to stay at home while the state tries to break the chain of transmission. However, as it stands now, it feels like the people of Lagos can no longer continue to stay at home, particularly as a result of the inability to feed their families and the increasing rate of insecurity in the state. The coming days will actually open us up to a lot of things, but we hope that the government will continue to do more to ensure the safety of citizens and provide for their needs in these trying times. And that's it on trending for today. Many thanks for staying here on Eniola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe as we bring you more stories during this time.